Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Sam, you are who you are, and I'm up for a drink. Hope you are too. Today, we're doing a little uh, throwback to a previous episode where I tried uh, one of the chameleon cold brews in a can, uh, the triple shot. Uh, this time, we're going with the espresso coffee out of the bottle. So this one is a keep cold uh, selection. And what I like about here is that they actually have the caffeine meter on it, which they didn't have on the triple shot. So with this one, we're looking at about 250 milligrams um, per serving, which is per bottle. Um, so already that gives me a little more information than the other one did. Um, this one doesn't have baking soda in it. Um, organic coffee, cold brew, water, organic coffee. My kind of ingredients. Let's give it a little shake and let's see what we got going on. Now, I'm not sure. I always thought espresso was a kind of grind on the coffee. Is that not the case? Is espresso a different style of coffee besides just the grounds that they would use? All right. Oh, oh, I'm already loving the nose on this. Rich chocolate, rich roasted dark coffee. Like coffee is one of those tricky things where it's hard to explain because it is an explainer. Like if you're drinking some, some other beverage like a whiskey where you'd be like, oh, it's apple. Or, or pear, or, or it's got musty notes. It's got, you know, some some whiskeys have coffee, especially some of the American single malts. Um, but when you drink apple juice, do you, do you, how do you describe it besides apple? So that's the, one of the hardest things I'm doing with trying to figure out describers, descriptions for coffee, because it tastes like coffee, smells like coffee. This, oh, uh, this really smells good. Oh yeah. The the flavor on that, it's it's right down there, right down the middle of, of, of strong coffee uh, flavors. You got the chocolate, you got the roast coming through, which I'm assuming is part of the espresso deal. Um, it's, 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 it's not, I want to say thick, but it has a nice body. It has a good body to it. Um, a lot of that can be addressed in the length of the steep for the cold brew process. Um, because the caffeine, you know, extraction ends after about nine hours or so. And when cold brews typically go between 12 and, and 24 hours, it's that extra time that really works on the body um, of, of the cold brew. You know, I'm gonna put the top on so I don't spill it if I look at it too much. Um, bunch of zeros on the uh, on the dietary chart, which is always nice. The certified organic. We know how I feel about that. Um, but it is substantially sourced coming out of Texas. Wow. Only 25% of the world's, uh, or sorry, 2% of the world's beans qualify as good enough for chameleon. All right. Did I read that right? That's why only 2% of the world's coffee beans meet our quality standards for being certified organic, specially degrade and substantially sourced. Oh, so they got a lot of boxes to check. They got a lot of boxes to check. Well, this is a good coffee. Um, I, I believe I like this substantially more than I like the uh, triple shot can. Um, I mean, it's got a nice clean finish. It's smooth as all get out. Um, it has a good body without being too thick. Um, it's not thin and watery. Um, it's, it's a rich, rich uh, sip of coffee. 
I like it. I dig it. The espresso coffee from Chameleon Cold Brew. Smooth black. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this. I hope you enjoy whatever in your cup. Until next time, cheers.